Hi everybody, Scott here again. This video is going to be another one of Cisco's packet tracer activities. This is activity 4.2.5.2 titled TCP Session Establishment and Termination. And basically what we're doing is we're going to look at the data packets that help set up uh, communication and then how it's also used to terminate communication between this client computer and the server there. So we're set up to request that data. We're going to jump over into our simulation tab. So we have our panel, so we can look at the individual packets. And we want to make sure our event list filters only TCP events. Because that's all we want to take a look at for this. And so we will request data from our computer via the desktop web browser. And we see that it's already setting up to send that SYN to say, hey, I'd like to communicate, let's establish a connection here for data transfer. And so it, set, it creates that and then sends it through the lower layers to the server. And once the server receives it, it'll add a SYN ACK, meaning it'll acknowledge that first data packet so this is what it, the server received, sequence 0, ACK 0, showing this is the first data packet that's used to establish that connection. So it's the first part of our three-way handshake. And then our server replies with this acknowledgement number one, saying, I got that. All right, so obviously I can hear you. I'm going to respond with this to see if you can hear me before we set up actual data communications. Here we have the PC receiving that acknowledgement one, no, so it knows that the server can hear it. And then it sends out sequence number one saying, all right, you can hear me, I can hear you, server, please send me this data starting here. So it starts with a data length 20. and the data length goes up to 100, basically dependent on how much data our network can handle transferring over this medium. So as we go forward a little bit further, we should see it sending and receiving. So we've set up that connection to establish, and so we're going to start asking, hey, on port 80, I need this web page. And the server then will respond by sending the web data to that PC. From port 80. Say, okay, here it is. Here's the information. And then... Our computer will say, alright, well I've got all the data I need for that web page. Let's go ahead and terminate this connection. So it sends this fin wait one that tells the server, okay, I'm done communicating, I don't need anything else, I'm going to terminate the connection. So the server receives that, and it responds saying, okay, I see that you're ready to terminate. We can see how this is affecting our sequence number and act number. We see that fin ACK saying, okay, we're all done transferring data. We both know that we're terminating these communications. So let's go ahead and we'll just close this down and sever this connection. And there it is. The device finally says the connection state to closed, showing that everything is done. And that pretty much covers everything we needed to look at for this packet tracer. So I will hopefully see you in my next video.